We specialize in protecting, preserving, and growing your wealth. Black Tower Financial Management, the team you want by your side. Visit blacktowerfm.com. Tuesday morning, we have Christina on from Black Tower Financial Management. Something you wanted to mention, and uh, definitely worth pointing out, about making wills and succession tax and the like, but especially in <sighs> Spain, where it's uh, very, very different, and it, diff- it varies region by region for some things, doesn't it? It does. And I've just read an article that was in the press today, and it said half of Britons have not written a will. And it's important to make one no matter how much you have. And I can talk because I haven't updated mine for oh, numerous years and I'm a financial advisor it's quite easy to put something off Mm. but however we are in an environment at the moment where unexpected unexplained deaths are at a peak and I'm having to deal with quite a few at the moment and I've had a few clients and sadly they've died and no one knows where their will is if they've got a will who their beneficiaries are who their solicitors are and it is it is it's worrying really because they've got money where does it go you don't want it to go to the government so you know it is in your best interest to make a will and i think if you are british you should have a uk will to cover your uk and worldwide assets excluding spain and a spanish will to cover your spanish assets yeah. um yeah. because in spain inheritance is a lot different from in the UK. In the UK, spouse to spouse is free, okay? And it's the estate that pays the inheritance tax. In Spain, in certain regions, and one of those being the Valencia region, spouse to spouse is not free. So if one of you die, the spouse could be subject to inheritance tax, Okay, and it's the beneficiary in Spain that has, or the beneficiary wherever they are, if they inherit anything from Spain, has to pay the tax before they can inherit, and it's called succession tax. Mm. Um, And everything you have in Spain is subject to that tax. And if your beneficiary is in Spain, then all your worldwide assets are subject to Spanish inheritance tax for that person because they live in Spain. So say uh, I die. And my husband inherits my whatever I have. If I have stuff in the UK, if I have stuff in Spain, oh, I don't know. Let's say I had stuff in America, which I don't, or stuff in Switzerland, I wish. Then he would have to pay Spanish inheritance tax on all of that. My estate is also subject to UK inheritance tax because I am a UK domicile. You can lose your residencia, but you cannot lose your domicile. It's usually on the place of birth of your father. And so in the UK, you have quite a spouse to spouse will be free, so he's fine. Um, but in Spain, he would not. So you need to have a will. And there are ways to mitigate inheritance tax in Spain. And that's why at the moment we are so busy because if you do an investment uh, with someone like Black Tower, we do, it's what in called a tax compliant investment, which the Spanish authorities have approved. And it means that that investment, although it's within the EU, and it doesn't need to report it on the Modelo 720 because the company has a representative in Spain. It is outside Spain. So most of them are in Dublin or Luxembourg. Therefore, and their life assurance policies. So if you do it in joint names, husband and wife or partners, on first death, there is no enforced encashment, so no taxable event. Okay, it carries on in the survivor's name because it's life assurance. It's got a small amount of life assurance, and that is the key to this. And especially if you live in Spain and you're not married, in certain regions, inheritance tax, if you get it from a partner or if you get inheritance for someone who isn't related to you, can go as high as 80%. Wow. So, you right. know, if you inherit 100,000, you may only see 20,000 of it. So there are ways to get around that. And some people come into me, they go, oh, but I've got a Spanish will and it states UK law of succession. So therefore, I don't have to pay Spanish inheritance tax. Law of succession is nothing to do with inheritance tax. What it means is under Spanish law... If you die, your estate has to go to your children first before your spouse. Right. Now, we've made a concession. The EU has said that every country has to allow an individual to choose their national rules above 
a country they live in. So for Brits, we can choose to have UK law of succession, which means that children do not pay preference over your spouse and you can leave it to your spouse first and then your children. But you are still subject to inheritance tax in Spain. It doesn't get rid of that liability. It just means you can choose who your beneficiaries are. And that is key as well, because otherwise, if you don't, your children get preference over your spouse and in some instances can get up to two thirds of your estate. And that means that your spouse basically gets nothing. So it is really, really key. And if you do have a will, please some let someone know, uh, you know, where you keep all your information, your solicitor or your next of kin or someone. And on there, put down the basics like, you know, where your bank account is, where your investments are, who your solicitor is, have you got a will, you know, if possible, keep a copy of your will. So God forbid anything happens to you, someone can find that easily. In Spain, you only have six months in which to sort it all out. After that, you start to incur fines and, you know, it becomes a nightmare. So please be very, very careful. Unfortunately, this is happening more and more at the moment. And it's not just the elderly, you know, I've got people who've died in their early 60s, mid 60s, early 70s. Um, and at the moment, I, it, it's, I've got more than I've ever had in the 14 years I've been doing this. Yeah. So, and as I said, there's one lady who sadly died. Her husband died a little while ago. They have no children, um, no relatives that we can find, can't even find a copy of the will. What do we do? We don't know who to contact. We've got no one to contact. So, you know, I've advised the investment companies, et cetera, but we're stumped. You know, what do you know? We don't want that money to be lost and go to governments. We want it to go to the people, hopefully, that you wanted it to go to. Yeah. Um, So please be very, very careful. Also, you know, you've got to save enough money for when you get elderly for care. But be realistic. Don't make yourself suffer and go without what you want and go without holidays just to have that amount of money. Live your life. And when people come into me sometimes, they come in, they say, oh, we want to do this investment. And they'll go away doing maybe only a half of what they expected because we've gone through it and they want to go and see this part of the world. They want a new car. They want this. You know, life is for living. When you die, you don't want to regret your life. Yeah. So whilst you've got to be careful, you've got to make sure you've got enough to live on, enough to support yourself, enough to give yourself for when you get older, you've got to enjoy your life. Yes. And I, I think I like the phrase you, about, so you know, when people are, you know, watching what they eat all the time, they say, well, there would have been people that waved away the sweet trolley on the Titanic. You know, you have to, yeah, uh, to you know, deny yourself got, everything. <laughs> you've got to put things into perspective mm. and you've got to realise, you know, it's and some I did I do have a couple of people, uh, not anymore, but came to me and said, oh, I've got this money. And they wouldn't spend it because they were saving it for their grandchildren. And after you have a chat with them, you know, what are their grandchildren going to do if it's a lot of money? Go and buy themselves a nice sports car when the person, in, one person involved hadn't done anything with their life. What is the point? Mm. You know, you've got you've made your own way in life. You've made yourself a success. You've got yourself money. OK, it's nice to be able to give some to your grandchildren and your children, but not the expense of your own life. And I know I sound like, uh, oh, that's all well and good, but it's true. It's your life. You get one chance at life. You know, make it work for you. And, it, you know, some people say, oh, when I get older, I'll do this. When I get older, I'll do that. However, yeah. sometimes ill health can come when you don't expect it. It can come in your 40s, your 50s, your early 60s. So while you are fit, if you can afford it and you want to do stuff, do it. Yeah. But as I said, please make sure that you are prepared. You know, we're, we're assured of one thing in life, and that is that we're all going to die. Okay, whether we like it or not, <laughs> we're all going to die. So, you know, And especially as you get older, um, especially when you get your 70s and 80s, it's horrible thing to say, even in your 50s and 60s, you haven't got that much longer to go in in respect to what you've already lived. So maybe put things in place. And if you are in your 70s and 80s, I know this sounds horrible, but put in place a power of attorney. Yes, that's what I was going to mention, yeah. Especially if you're not here all the time, especially as well. Yes, it is really key. Just in case you become incapacitated, you know, you may have a stroke, you may get a blood clot, which causes a stroke, you may get Alzheimer's, you may get Parkinson's, you know, something could happen. And without a power of attorney, 
your accounts are frozen. You can't get money to pay for your care. And so obviously you've got to pick someone you trust. So usually people treat pick a solicitor or a lawyer or their brother or their sister or their, you know, their oldest child, someone they can trust. And some people, and also you can make not only a will, some people make living wills. And what that means is I had a couple that did this. They had a living will and in the will it stated if anything happened to them and they were left in a vegetable, you know, state, I don't hate to say that, Mm. that they wouldn't prolong their care. They would let them die with dignity. So, that you know, you need to talk to your solicitor about that as well, about what you can do in those sort of circumstances. And obviously it's if you trust, you know, some – Doctors won't just do kill you, obviously, but there are certain things to make you have an easier end to your life. So, you know, that's another thing to to consider. But please make sure that your paperwork is somewhere where someone can find it, even if it's just a little business card with bits written on the back, like solicitor's number, etc., so someone can find that, you know, if it's a, so they know what to do. Um, right. You know, you work very, very hard for your money, as I said. And also there are ways to mitigate inheritance tax in Spain. And that's what people need to understand. Different regions have different rules. If you're in the Valencia region, I'm afraid at the moment we've got one of the worst. We did used to have one of the best, uh, but now we've got one of the worst. So you need to plan for it. And Black Tower can help you with that. Honestly, someone came in the other day, she said she'd been talking to people, as you do, in a restaurant or a bar, and they'd made this couple really panic about inheritance tax. They were giving them all these nightmare scenarios. So they came in to see me. I said, well, you've got this in a compliant wrapper. You've got this and this. I said, the maximum your inheritance tax bill is going to be, if anything, because you've got expenses to deduct, is about €5,000. And they were so happy. I said, actually, in, th- in reality, it won't be more than about 2000 Wow. And the person in the pub had made them believe, or whatever bar or restaurant, that they were going to lose everything. Yes, you know, the spouse that was left behind was going to be destitute. So please don't listen to gossip. Come and speak to us. We can help you with ways to mitigate your inheritance tax, whether you're married, whether you're living together, whether you're a mum and a son or a mum and a daughter. You know, if you're resident in Spain, we can help you with that. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to give you peace of mind as well in regard to, to taxes and uh, you know, and finances, as well as giving you investment advice. Yeah, and as far as a will goes, obviously, um, make sure people know where it is if you do have one. But um, worth update if you've got property, especially, it's worth keeping it up to date. Uh, yeah, if you buy somewhere, it could go in hand in hand with it. Yeah, the difference is in Spain is when you get do a will, it's on a central registry and it's kept in Madrid. So it's not like UK, you can do a will, put it in your drawer and no one knows about it. When you do one, it is registered in Madrid. So therefore it can be found. Okay, well, it's anything that's come up worth getting in touch if you have any questions for Christina and uh, lots of ways to get in touch. What's the email address? The, the, the email, one? the best one is info at blacktowerfm, that stands for financialmanagement.com, and put Bay Radio Attention Christina and it will come through to me. Someone will get in touch with you. You can go onto the Bay Radio website, you can go to advertisers, you can click on Black Tower, it'll take you through to our website, just fill in a contact form again, put Bay Radio or Christina uh, so they know where it's coming. And from, remember, we don't just cover Spain, we cover France, Germany, most of Europe, UK, uh, North America, South America, Australia. So if you have any questions in those countries, as again, about anything we've spoken about, including inheritance tax, you can get in touch. Or you can call the office, which is 96505-8212. You know, we're here to help you. So please don't hesitate. If you need anything, if you need any advice, please get in touch. Thanks ever so much for your time. It's uh, useful stuff. Thank you very uh, much. As always. Listening and exceeding expectations for over 31 years. Black Tower Financial Management, the team you want by your side. Visit blacktowerfm.com.